The fallout at St. Augustine's University continues as the HBCU faces accreditation and financial challenges, and now there are calls for members of the board to resign. Yeah, it comes after the accreditation body itself told us that it is the Board of Trustees at St. Augustine's University that has responsibility over financial affairs and other things there at the university. Akilah Davis live on campus now following this new turn for St. Augs. Akilah? Yeah, you know, there's an alum and an online petition calling for the immediate resignation of Board of Trustees members here at St. Augustine's University. To the board members, um, you know, it would be best if, you know, just just leave, just resign. St. Aug's alum Marlon Lee says he wouldn't be the man he is today without his beloved HBCU. I'm the only one in my family um, to get a college degree, so um, this was the start right here. This was the start right here um, on 1315 Oakwood Avenue. A proud graduate from the class of 1999. That's why he says it's hard to watch the university face financial and accreditation challenges. Moments before we spoke, he walked campus talking to students. Right now, it just seems like they're so traumatized and, you know, from what's going on, um, they, they should be. Someone who says he represents alumni launched this online petition in December of last year, showing more than 1,500 people call for the resignation of the board. I emailed the board three times asking for an interview as recently as today. My requests have gone unanswered. In my interview yesterday with interim president Marcus Burgess, he characterized what he says he's been told by the board. And I say immensely uh, sorry for where we are right now. Um, did not know we were in this dire straits. I mean, I get apologized all the time. Dr. Burgess, if we knew all this, we would not have asked you to come here. I spoke with a SACS representative who told me institutional boards have fiduciary responsibility regarding the respective institutions they represent. Meantime, alum like Marlon vow to continue rolling up their sleeves to help fill in the gaps on campus by passing out food and taking out trash. He says he is not comfortable sending the HBCU money and says other alum feel the same. When that money is sent here, um, you know, we, we don't know who hands it goes into. And that alum told me that this weekend he and others plan to head back to campus here to help pick up trash and such, anything that's needed here. As for those emails that I uh, sent to the board, I did just receive a response from Chairman Brian Boulware. He referred me to the university's PR communications team. He asked me to send emails there. We are live in Raleigh. Akilah Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.